I was wondering what to do with this microphone for review, and you know what? I'm just gonna podcastage the fuck out of it and hope you're entertained. Do I have a box to throw? It's a heavy, uh, there's a lot of stuff back there. This is the Neumann U89i. This specific one is one of the originals making it a vintage. Now these microphones were introduced in 1980 as a way to improve upon the U87. And on paper, they did. In practice, well, the U87 is still king. But this thing does have some creature comforts that do make it a better choice for some. It can handle higher SPL, and it has a more flexible low-cut filter. It also expands on the U87's polar patterns, adding a wide cardioid and a hypercardioid to the arsenal. And this thing is marketed as a universal studio mic, meaning it will basically sound good on everything. Now that said, the U87 AI already holds that crown, so this one kind of split the audience, and it never really took off. From a build quality perspective, this thing's solid. I mean, as you would expect from a 20-year-old Neumann microphone, all nickel body, the grill is solid. It has three separate areas to change either the polar pattern, the low cut, or also you have the pad on there. As for the specs, this is a large condenser microphone with, as discussed, you've got Omni, wide angle, cardioid, hypercardioid, and figure eight for polar patterns. It's 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has a sensitivity of negative 42 dBV per Pascal, equivalent noise level of 17 dBA weighted, a max SPL of 140 dB with attenuation, a signal to noise ratio of 77 dBA weighted, and of course a 6 dB pad, and roll offs at 80 hertz and 160 hertz for those that record next door to a jackhammer. Okay, time for the off-axis rejection of the Neumann U89i. Here I am speaking about five inches off the front of the microphone. Now I'm about five inches off the side of the microphone. Now I'm about five inches off the rear of the microphone. Now time for the proximity effect test of the Neumann U89i. This is me speaking about five inches off the front of the microphone. Now I'm about one inch off the front of the microphone. Five inches, one inch. Now let's take a look at some of the polar patterns that are available on this microphone. I've been on the cardioid polar pattern for most of this video, so let's take a look through. This is the Omni cardioid polar pattern. And you'll notice as I swing the microphone around, it's going to be picking up all the same sounds all the way around. Now this one is the wide angle cardioid, and this is how it sounds. Now you're gonna notice as you go around to the side of the microphone, it continually picks up but then it drops off near the rear of the microphone. Now we're on the hypercardioid selection for the Neumann U89i, words are hard. And you're gonna notice as I go around to the side of it, it's gonna drop off and it's gonna be rejecting from the side. Now, if I turn this around, you're also gonna notice the lobe of sensitivity at the rear. Now we have the figure eight polar pattern and it's gonna have sensitivity on either side of the microphone, but on the sides, it will be rather dead. So let's test that out. This is the front of the microphone. This is the side of the microphone. And this is the rear of the microphone. Now we're gonna take a look at the roll off on this. This is a straight line here. Now we're gonna do the 80 roll off. This is the sound of the Neumann U89i with the roll off at 80. And this is the Neumann U89i with the roll off at 160. Now let's take a look at the pad on the Neumann U89i. This is with the pad disengaged. And this is with the pad engaged at 6 dB. Try a little bit more. Do you want me to talk like this? Yeah. This is Neumann mic. <laughs> Aiden has also advised me that this is a very expensive mic, so to not touch it. He says there's a heart on it, but really, if you ask me, it looks like a butt. So if you like butt mics, this one's for you. Okay, so for the first comparison, let's go Neumann versus Neumann. We got the Neumann U89i versus the Neumann TLM-102. But to do this, let's hear from our sponsor, Podcastle.ai. Whether you've been tasked with hosting your team's next Zoom meeting, presenting to potential new clients, or entire boards of directors, Podcastle has everything you need to succeed. Not really tech savvy? Don't worry about it. Podcastle's easy to follow instructions allow you to record high quality remote interviews from anywhere. And thanks to its intuitive audio editor, 
you can make changes on the fly. Podcastle's Magic Dust feature even enables you to isolate monologues and speeches within your podcasts or presentations to make them sound flawless. Sure, all of this sounds expensive, but it's really not. Everything you need to start your podcasting journey is online right now at podcastle.ai for zero dollars. You're already comfortable behind the mic? Click on the pricing link to choose the plan that's right for you like Storyteller. Add more color to your stories with additional features and tools for the introductory price of only $11.99 US. Or get started with Podcastle Pro at only $23.99 for the first month. Podcastle Pro includes everything in Storyteller, plus 25 hours of transcription and or text-to-speech per month, 10 high-quality voice skins, and early access to new features. Visit podcastle.ai and make your voice heard today. This is going to be my favorite part of the video. Now we have the Neumann U89i versus the Behringer XM1800S. This one is the bane of Dylan's existence. He hates it. He hates the sound of my voice on it. He hates the sound of everything. He doesn't even like the naming. And this is what it sounds like. What do you think? And now we have the Neumann U89i up against the Behringer XM8500. Which one do you like? Now we have the Neumann U89i versus the workhorse of the music industry, the SM58. And this is what they sound like side by side. Let me know what you think here, because legendary microphone, legendary Microphone company, what do you think? Now we have the Neumann U89i versus AKG P120. Which one do you like? You like the AKG P120? Or do you like the Neumann U89i? Now I've gotten rid of the boom arm because, man oh man, was that a pain in the butt. So now I have the Neumann U89i versus the AKG P420. What do you think here? This one is a $3,000 microphone. This one's not even $300. Now we have the Neumann NT2A. This one is about $400. This one's about $3,000. This is the Neumann U89i. This is the Rode NT2A. What do you think? What do you think of the differences here? I would love to have this microphone. Maybe I'll just steal it. My friend wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that at all. Why not? Right? Why not? I already did the SM58. I already did the Behringer uh, XM1800S. This is the Neumann U89i. And this is the Sure SM7B. Why not? Right? This is the Neumann U89i. And this is the uh, Lewitt LCT440. Do you like the Neumann U89i or the Lewitt LCT440? And now we have the Neumann U89i up against the Evo Audient. This is like the best worst case scenario for the bundled microphones. Evo just got in under the line. Which one do you like? The Neumann U89i or the Audient Evo? Please don't say the Evo. Okay then, these are getting kind of stupid. This is the Neumann U89i and this is the RE20. Once again, why not, right? Now, I actually really like this microphone on me. I mean, of course I do, it's a Neumann. Though I don't think I'm going to be buying one anytime soon. I love every single frequency that comes out of it. And I kind of want to keep it. I know, I've got to give it back. I get it. I don't think there is much else to say though. If you're looking for a stupidly expensive studio microphone and you have the money to throw around, links are in the description, I guess. Although, if you really did like this video, check out that time I got to test out Dylan's U87 AI. Cheers and I'll see you in the next video. Wait, gotta line them up. Gotta be super scientific here, folks. People will call you on that if you're not.